all carpet bagger here along with Jen. Hi, I'm very bundled. Very bundled. We are coming to you live from Estes Park, Colorado. More specifically, we are here at Frozen Dead Guy Days, currently waiting to enter. A long line has formed here. It is, uh, it's not too cold. There's a lot of snow here. I can hear jam band music in the air. And uh, of course we have a, we visited yesterday, we went to the International Cryonics Museum at the Stanley <laughs> Hotel and learned the story of Grandpa Bredo, the, uh, the frozen dead corpse that uh, was brought here to the United States to live a unlife of being frozen in the Colorado mountains. Uh, now, he was previously preserved in a plastic shed in Netherlands, Colorado, but now he is currently residing at the Stanley Hotel in a cryonic tube. We met him. We met him yesterday. So today we are attending the festival where the celebration. It, it used to take place in Netherlands, Colorado. They have moved it over here to Estes Park. This is only the second year they're doing oh. this here in the middle. <laughs> only the second year. Second. We are. Uh, we are having uh, they're having this celebration here. Um, I don't really know all what to expect. I think I've heard there are going to be coffin races. Coffin, coffin races. races. That's kind of what I've been uh, looking forward to. But anyway, it sounds like a very very strange festival. A very very strange reason for a festival. So uh, I am all in. Please follow us. <laughs> and you can't have dead guys without hearses. This is the dead sled limo right here. See over here. Hello, sir. Hello. What you got back here? Oh, some various things. You got the coffin. You got the uh, the goth kids from South Park. There's uh, someone's ashes. Oh, look at this cat right here. Uh, look at this here. Got the a big. This is a, this is a tall skeleton. This is maybe a, a seven footer right there. A little rat, you know. And a little space Martian skeleton there. Oh yeah, look at a whole row of urns. Yeah, apparently every year they have HearseCon here in uh, in Colorado. The uh, HearseCon with Morbid Curiosity Carnival. May have to check that out sometime. Yeah, really <laughs> yeah look at this one with the nice pretty lights there. The colorful funeral flags. And uh, over here, oh what does this say on the on the door here? Denver Hearse Association. Apparently hearse is very big here in the Denver area. And look at that. We've got uh, the skeletal grave digger there. It says U US Cryogenics and Frozen People Incorporated. I don't know, something someone frozen here. Oh yeah, look at the little little dummy there as well. Now well, listen, this hearse is singing a lullaby. Oh jeez. And then it gives like a horrific screech at the end. It laughs. <laughs> yeah, this is the hearse graveyard here. All these hearses on display. But look at this hearse over here. This is like a, uh, maybe like a Batmobile-esque hearse here. Oh, geez. It just made a very loud noise. Let's see. Maybe like a post post-apocalyptic hearse there. There's a skull on the front. Yeah, check that. Oh, it just quacked at me. That is a that is a pretty sweet, pretty sweet hearse. See, they've had a lot of snow here in the last few days, but kind of kind of works with the theme here of frozen dead guy days. It's the skeleton poking out of the snow. Bigfoot! Bigfoot, how are you doing? Oh, you having a good time here at Frozen Dead Guy? Yes. All events next in line. Bigfoot Days. When Bigfoot Days? 420. 420. 420. Down in Bond It's uh, funny. Is it fun? It's fun. All right. We've been running it since 2019. 2019. That sounds pretty fun. Yes. Awesome. And you're the king of the big feet right here? Oh, look at Boo. Yes. Oh, you get in there? Yes. All right. Well, a pleasure to meet you, Colorado Bigfoot. All right, I think there is an occurrence happening. All right, I think the coffin races are starting pretty soon. Now the coffin races were inspired by the 
old Frozen Dead Guy Festival where they would actually take Grandpa Bredo out of his frozen shed and run him around town in a coffin. And now, they're not allowed to use him anymore. Because I guess because he's frozen <laughs> with nitrogen. So uh, they, I guess they just run maybe empty. I, I don't know how it works. Maybe someone sits in the coffin. We'll find out. We'll learn about coffin racing. I think it's like soapbox derby. Kind of like soapbox really derby. Like All right. Yeah. Let's see how this. Let's see what happens here. Oh, it looks like Bigfoot's on stage dancing. They're the king and queen of frozen dead guy. <laughs> One coffin against another. Each coffin team is comprised of six pallbearers and one corpse. There's all the team captains there. Had a total of seven people in a coffin. Then they're gonna run straight on and they're gonna drop their coffin. The corpse now has obstacle number one to do, and they are going to punch that skull twice. The straw race, race, race. tunnel there. This is where you can get some speed, maybe take okay, over then they the start, other team. Then they start running. And then you have a complicated figure eight. Then the corpse gets out of the coffin gets back with their team in the coffin, the, the racing coffin, and then to the finish line. All right, I think I've got the rules figured out. They gotta go over this hill here. They run over the hill. They're carrying a dead guy in a coffin. The dead guy's gotta get out over there. There's two skulls. Dead guy has to punch the skulls and then get back in the coffin. They run through a tunnel of hay, then uh, do a loop-de-loop through, or figure eight pattern, through some steel girders, run to the coffins in the middle, the corpse gets out of the, gets out of his coffin, goes into the new coffin, crosses his arms, and then gets back into his coffin, and then they go through the finish line. I think, I think, I've, I think I got it. This is the Rainbows here, they're last year's champions. It's go time! There they go. The nightmares there. There's the Iditarod, the Huskies. Oh, they're gonna fall, they're gonna fall. Oh, yeah. the, the corpse has to get out and punch, punch the skulls over there. Oh, the nightmares, the horse team. Oh, there they go. Oh, they're way ahead. Look at this. Got a hockey team. And then in the back, there's a Soviet theme team. They're carrying like a Vladimir Lenin esque coffin. Yeah, like a, a see through coffin. They know how to punch, they know how to. Look at all All right, we have a Lebowski theme team versus a Tigger theme team. It's the Lebowski's there. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, they recovered! So punch the skulls. Twice! You gotta punch it twice. Make sure they're better at that move. The Tigger team is called Tigger Mortis. It's the Jokers versus the Deadheads. Oh! That was cool! Oh, they're being showered by snowballs there. Oh no! Oh, that's so cool. That's a lot of fun. All right, we have lumberjacks versus rubber ducks here. They said the rubber ducks coffin is made out of tape. Yes. Oh no! Oh, the lumberjacks pulling ahead. Oh no! What a funny choice. So we're gonna, we have to punch the skulls there. Punch the skulls. Looks like the tape coffin's actually holding up. We have a St. Patrick's Day team. St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow. Oh no! Okay. 
punch the. All right, we have the Ice Spiders there. The other team is the Kansas City Chiefs carrying Taylor Swift. Oh, they're dropping Taylor. They're dropping Taylor. Oh no. Seems like for some reason the uh, Kansas City Chiefs may not be popular in Colorado. Yeah. All right. There's the the dumpster fires competing against the uh, the returning. Wait. They didn't go. It's the returning champions here. They didn't go over the hill. What's even happening? This is crazy. I think they have they have forfeited. Instead of racing, they're doing some sort of dance here. Yeah, the returning champions forfeit their spot in order to do a ridiculous dance instead of racing. I don't know. I kind of I kind of respect that. Um, so these people instead of doing the race, they just stop doing the race and doing the dance. Wow. Oh! The confetti raining down. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh. It's been a good time though. I'll send you a bunch of photos I don't know. Should <laughs> Apparently there is a style award. They may be maybe going for that. Can't do it. I was asking for help. The audience. Alright, that must be a dud. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Yay! Oh, look! Now they're all partying together with the firemen. This was very unexpected, but. Uh, Warms the heart. Right, this is Dead Rock Stars versus Ted Lasso. Oh, they didn't make it to the hill. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, here they come. The snow is getting wetter. The sun's coming out. I think it's getting harder, harder to climb, harder to run in. Uh, we have David S. Pumpkins versus psychedelic mushrooms. Yeah, you see David S. Pumpkins there with his B-boy skeletons. Any questions? Okay, Border Burger Bar versus the Tea Party. Team here. There we go. The Breaking Bad theme team there versus the Denim Boys. Oh man, it looks like it's getting slipperier and harder to harder to stay sheer footed. Oh, a little bit of trouble getting up there. There we go. Okay. What's her name? Isabella? <laughs> that is Erin Presley. Yes. Oh. Presley. Actually, yes. She, uh, oh, yeah. I'm <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the closest one I've seen. Yeah. Oh, no. And what's going on? A corpse is being kidnapped from the other coffin. Wait, what's happening? Wait, they left with the wrong corpse. What is happening here? Hey, did we wait to some sort of heel turn here? Yeah, the, the, the corpses switched coffins. So this is a Ken-themed team 
and a natural funeral themed team. They're apparently actually a natural funeral home that does eco-friendly burials. There's the Kens. So who do you think should win? Oh, we're gonna send Barbie to do the. So send Barbie out there to do the punch. <laughs> oh, here comes the Kens. Always second place. All right, coming through. All right, the races are over, and uh, we're gonna head inside. See what's going on in there. All right, look at this. For some reason, we have the giant skull of Satan hanging over frozen dead guy. We've got a photo booth here since I got thought out on Estes Park. All right, there's me and Jen posing with the uh, frozen dead guys there. Got some uh, music occurring in here as well. Oh, look at this, there's another photo op with, uh, with devil wings in a coffin. There's me and Jen with the more devilish photo op. Yeah, we saw this team in the actual race. They are from a group that does natural funerals. They're not necessarily put in a coffin, but actually allowed to be reabsorbed into Mother Earth. Oh, okay, there's like soil in the box that dissolves you into the dirt. This is pretty much the exact opposite of what they're doing with Grandpa Bredo. Hello, frozen tall lady. Hello. You having a good time? You're the highest one here. There's, there's a lot of high people here, possibly. All right, have a good festival. I got a peek in here. I think there's another stage in here. Oh, it feels colder in here for some reason. Oh, well, maybe that's fire and this is ice. Oh, okay. So yeah, the other the other room was like the fire room. This is the ice room here. Oh look, it's a six foot skeleton in a little hat. Oh yeah, look at that. Even a uh, 12 foot tall Home Depot skeleton showed up to the Frozen Dead Guy Festival. The Monster Energy drink showed up here. I've never had a Monster Energy drink. And I try not to drink a lot of sugar. But it uh, looks like they maybe have some zero sugar Monster Energy. Oh, thank you. I guess we'll go drink our Monster Energy here in the Monster Energy Lounge. And look who's hanging out here in the Monster Energy Lounge. We got uh, Jack Frost there. Is this the, I think this is the Home Depot Jack Frost, but I don't know. It doesn't look like he's moving. He's animatronic normally. Hey Jen, have you ever had a Monster Energy drink before? Do you want me to answer the question? Sure, go ahead. Yes, but like I can't have Red Bull or um, Monster because I've had too many Jaeger bombs in my life <laughs> and um, I don't like the taste anymore. Do you want me to crack this open for you? Yeah, if you don't mind. I've never had. Well, even the smell just reminds me of like Jaeger. <laughs> I've never had Monster Energy. It's <laughs> this is zero. This is zero sugar, so I get all the energy without any of the sugar. It tastes like like the Five Hour Energies. I know you don't like those either. I mean, it's not terrible. It's not. No, the taste. I used to like it. I just um, it's got kind of like a weird, like ones. weird, like candy aftertaste to it. I used to like them. Just don't drink too many, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting a stomachache with every sip. Maybe you should continue as you are. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to chug it. Like the purpose is like it has a lot of caffeine and like are your eyes wider now and like I'm getting sleepy. On the day. Oh well, then I think you did it wrong. All this jam band music and coffin racing is making me sleepy. And the giant yeti. I don't know why you're chugging it. You don't chug carbonated beverages. Like what is? What are you doing? I just want it to be gone. That's not, can I try it since I haven't had one in years? And I also want you to just stop doing that. <laughs> you're fake, yeah, you're gonna bomb it everywhere. Yeah, they're just as bad as I remember. But hey, Monster, thanks for the free drink. Thank you, Monster. And check this out, we got a free-to-play Monster Energy 
claw machine with some Monster Energy theme prizes in there. There's like a like a fluffy hat. The hat does look comfy. Should I try to grab the hat? Sure. It moved a little bit. Should I try again? Sure. All right, I'm gonna try one more time with the hat. Yeah, I think you did a good job last time getting it like that. Ah, uh, I don't know. What should I try? Let me see. Just get, let me just take a shot at grabbing that uh, big like, thermos in the back there. Oh, do you want to try, Jen? Yeah. There's like little things in like balls. I don't know if there's enough room to grab these right here. Yeah, maybe try that. All right, drop it. Yeah, the clothing's kind of blocking all those. So see if you can get that nice, warm, fuzzy Monster Energy hat there. Oh, almost. One more try. Grab it by the palm, yes. Oh, I'm sorry, Jen. And oh my goodness, this thing is amazing. It's almost like a giant holographic Yeti. It's got like a, I guess it's got a frozen dead guy face on it. That is... That is so cool. You like that, Jen? It's amazing. Yeah. I walked up and I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, yeah. What do you think it is? I think it's like a frozen dead guy Yeti. I think so. That's my interpretation. <laughs> I would also like to see bubble protected, like all cute. Yeah. Oh, look, he's making a crazy... What's oh, he talking? Look, he's talking, he's saying words, I think. What do you think he's saying? He's saying... Hold outside, but warm in here. <laughs> All right, we're getting in line here to check out the official Frozen Dead Guy Days merchandise. See some of the merchandise here. For $799, you can get this full size neon Frozen Dead Guy's Day sign. Yeah, there's the stickers there. You can have, uh, and that is a Frozen Dead Guy there. This one, he's, uh, he's turned into a skeleton. It's a pretty cool black light poster there to hang up in your freak out room. These ladies are they're playing with playing with the frozen dead guy because they're I guess because they're really high. Or is that the, that's what she told me that she was the highest highest person here. They got the photographer there. Frozen dead people here. Amazing. At the bar here, they have this uh, animated Dean the Deathologist. It's from, uh, is that from, yeah, that's from Home Depot. Oh no, he stopped, he stopped bartending. See, oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, this is really fun. I love this animatronic here. Hopefully, they have it next year at Home Depot. I might get one of these. I don't know what he's saying, but he's, he's serving us up a nice glowing drink of evil. What does he say? Hello, here's your drink. Amazing, please. Come on, Dean. Dean. Come on, Dean. Come on, Dean. Come on, Dean. Dean, come on. Wake up, Dean. 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 What'd you do before to get him to go? Is he broken? Have we seen the death of Dean the Deathologist? I'm really concerned. Okay, what if we both back away? We both back away? 
here. Both back away. And then, please. We re approach. Deed! Can we break you? <laughs> Kenny, see this uh, inflatable skeleton here jamming out to the band. Oh wait! Dean the Deathologist! He just he came back to life! He lives! Dean! Yay! Look at this, we got the team from Alcor here. Are you guys are you guys gonna free somebody? Hopefully. Looking for volunteers? Where's, where's that going? That's one of those bags he used to, to, to freeze somebody. Spotted the Alcor guys here. What are they doing? Are they gonna, they gonna, they gonna freeze somebody? They're gonna put someone in cryonic freeze? We are Alcor, we're the nonprofit scientific research organization that actually recovered Burrito. We're extremely proud of her. Special Forces veterans and nurses that are present today that actually went up the Colorado Rocky Mountains and recovered Brito's body, and he is now in cryo preservation. Oh no, Grandpa Brito! Grandpa Brito has died. There's the uh, Alcor team there. Oh, I guess they're going to have to. This is what actually happens when we go and recover. Says that this is a a simulated recovery here. Taking Grandpa Prado there. Uh, is engineered by Alcor <laughs> to be um, our transport. Do I count as special forces for being in the military? And being You're gonna see them get the get uh, Prado oh, and okay. the back. And here at the same time in real life, we would be administering about 11 different medications. So I didn't, I, I didn't recognize you at first. You're Grandpa Prado. I am. And actually, no way you're gonna say Grandpa Breda. Breda, yeah. I'm sorry, I apologize. Because everyone goes, oh, a burrito? What the heck, right? <laughs> yes. All right, so you were rescued, you were rescued there by Alcor? I was rescued by Alcor, and if you haven't been in the Alcor booth, it's in that tent right there. What do you, what do you prefer? Do you prefer being uh, frozen in a plastic shed with dry ice, or do you prefer the cryonic method of being frozen? I totally prefer the cryonic method with Alcor. Awesome. Specifically with alcohol. You've heard it here from yeah. here here first from Grandpa Breda. Yeah, Breda. Burrito. No one's gonna understand. No Breda. one's gonna understand it. But in Norway, they're gonna say Breda. If this was Norway, Breda. everyone would be saying Breda. They will. They will. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Hula hooping. But this last building here is known as the Mushroom Carnival. Okay, so we had a room that was themed with, uh... oh, okay. They're having some sort of contest in here. All right, so it looks like they're having an ice cream eating contest in here. Some major, major brain freeze going on here. Look at that. Oh, I could not eat ice cream like that. Oh, is that guy gonna get sick? He's gonna get sick? Oh no. Oh, he's, he's gonna interview this guy while he's trying not to puke. Oh, you gotta keep it in. You don't want to lose all this energy for nothing. Oh my gosh, he's like breathing. His breath is frozen. Check out the Alcor booth here. We actually went to the Alcor Museum, the International Cryonic Museum, yesterday. Let's see, they have some sort of, they have all sorts of swag here. Oh, look at these stickers. These are cool. You see the guy in the tube there. Do you want to spin for a prize? You can spin for a prize? Yeah, all right, let's see. Uh, we just just spin it. All right, let's see. Oh, can I try some of it again? 
Okay, that was a very weak spin. There we go. Come on. T-shirt, woo! Uh, do you have two X? All right. Jen, I want a T-shirt. You did a good job. Oh, I got a nice little Alcor bag to go with my T-shirt. That's awesome. Do you want to spin, Jen? Okay. <laughs> All right, get in there. What do you get, what do you get, what do you get, what do you get, what do you get? Patches, woo! All right, get an Alcor, some Alcor patches there. What's this little guy? It's a tardigrade. What is he? It's a tardigrade. Oh, I get one. <laughs> it's a tardigrade. Oh, a tardigrade, like the little water bear. Yeah. Oh, very, very okay. cute. He's got a little squishy brain there. That's a little squishy frozen brain. To protect your brain. All right. They have the spaceman there. It's actually the, one of the things they can do is freeze people and then send them to space, kind of like in Planet of the Apes. I think this is probably a really good spot to sell Girl Scout cookies. All right, we have the uh, the dead, the dead heads here. Oh, you got a little doggy in there? Oh, look at that. I love, I loved you guys. I love the, uh, I love. Hey! Yeah, I love the flare. I love the explosions. Uh, good job, guys. Thank you. We got a row of food trucks over here. Jen noticed that they had some elk bratwurst over here at the Euro stand. How do you like your sausage, Jen? It's really good. It's elk sausage? Yes. I've realized I think I like elk more than bison. You like elk more than bison? Yes. Have you ever tried um, cow meat or pig? I have. We yes. like elk and bison better? Yes. All right. What's that? Cave bacon is made of rocks. Well, yes. I think you're. I, th I think I don't think you were paying attention during the cave tour. <laughs> no. It's elk bratwurst here. It has jalapeno and cheddar, and then peppers and onions on top. It's really tasty. No, yeah, it's really good. Elk is really good. Yeah. And they're pretty, so I feel a little bad. Like we saw some driving in, and I was like, oh no, no, I'm eating them. <laughs> yeah. All right, we are down here to the finals. We have the uh, leprechauns versus the mushrooms. There they go. Final race. Oh, oh they look like they're necking. Neck and neck there. We gotta do a loop to loop back there. There we go, who's ahead? Oh, looks like the mushrooms. Looks like the mushrooms are ahead. Oh yeah, yeah, going over the hill there. Mushrooms going over the hill. Okay, they're gonna punch the skulls. They're gonna go get in the coffins. Oh yeah, they're right neck and neck. The mushrooms are just a little bit ahead. Just a little bit ahead. Does the mushrooms got it? Do the mushrooms have it? Do the mushrooms have it? I think they do. All right, handing out the awards here. Look at that. We'll get some music too. Oh, Cool. Yeah, see the, the one the coffin there, coffin race, this is part of our 2024. We won the best theme and the best team. for some photos here. So they've actually opened up the course here to let people check it out. Jen, what do you think of the course? I think my socks are wet. Your socks are wet? Yeah, it's a little, a little soggy. I actually didn't. You could see them like seeping out. Oh my gosh, I didn't wear Crocs today because yeah, I was prepared no, for this. Yeah, this is pretty cool in here, getting able to walk through the course. This is where they did like they did like figure eights yeah. and 360 runs around these pillars here. See, see the skeletons there, the super spooky skeletons. And there's the big, uh, the big snow pile that they've ran over. Oh, it looks like people are running over the snow pile. Jen. Are you gonna run over should it? I, should I run over it? You should. Be gentle and careful. Hooray, you made it! Yay! Yay! 
Yeah, you are. I should win now. You do. You get um um. You won. I dro oh, I dropped. Oh, you won that brain. I dropped the Alcor brain. I'm sorry. That's your prize. These are the heads here. They had to punch. They had to let the corpse had to get out of the coffin and punch the heads. I think it was twice. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. I won. That's some good punching. Sasquatch, what are you wearing? He changed his clothes. All right, there's a line forming. People want to get their uh, photos taken in these coffins here. Now Jen is telling me that her feet are wet. I am so cold, like my feet are. It's all wet here. Like I bought these super thick socks. It's, they're, they're wet. Before you told me you were getting too hot. I know. I took off the layer and everything, and now I'm freezing. <laughs> all right. Well, I think I think we have successfully completed the frozen dead guy. I'm a frozen day. alive gal. Frozen alive. Frozen alive gal. So yeah, a lot of fun here. Coffin races are a lot of fun. I think they're going to continue the party in to the evening here yes. with some uh, some music, some uh, alcohol, and maybe some other things too. Yeah, there were other things. Other things. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I had a great time here. Beautiful location. You see this mountain surrounding us. No, it's so pretty, and I've always wanted to see a soap that box derby. So well, the fact that was, that was yeah, I mean. Not really a soapbox because it doesn't have wheels. Well, more like no, a more like a pallbearer obstacle oh, course. Yeah, but I think I would mean, be. It's a fun twist on the soapbox derby. Yeah, so a lot of fun celebrating all things dead and all things frozen here. Yeah, it's cold. At Frozen Dead Guy Festival. My feet are frozen. I think we're gonna get Jen out of the cold. Yeah, I'm gonna put your Crocs on your, from your pile in the car. Yeah, you may have to shoot it to borrow Pox out. Pox Crocs <laughs> out of the Croc pile in the car. But uh, thank you guys for coming with us. This was a lot of fun. Um, I think you should assemble a team. Assemble a team? Yeah. All right. How many of you need? Seven. You need seven people. Well, it's a coffin person. Seven people and a coffin? I don't know if it's seven and a coffin or seven. All right. If anyone wants to be on my coffin team for next year, leave a comment in the comment section. <laughs> but uh, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for coming along with us on this adventure. Yeah, uh, no, I said that I wasn't sure. Yeah, you, were, you weren't sure yesterday, but, yeah. but she said, I would rather die than not go to frozen dead guy. <laughs> no, I was really thinking of like, what am I gonna be able to go to this again? Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I appreciate you coming with Jen, even though you weren't feeling 100% great. Yeah. But the, uh, the whiskey yeah. apple cider helped. You had a little bit of whiskey? Yeah, it kept me warm, and now my boots are all. All else fails, drink whiskey. You heard it here first. <laughs> All right, if you guys like these videos, please subscribe. I travel around the country, I film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and, and other- dead guys! And dead guys, apparently. <laughs> other fun stuff. If you'd like to help support the channel, consider contributing to Patreon. $3 or more, we'll get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins at the Etsy shop and doing personalized messages on Cameo. Of course, all those things. Keep this frozen dead guy in the coffin, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the coffin! In the bag, or coffin, whatever. <laughs>